Welcome back to the Tacomaholic channel everybody. Today we are doing a mini projects video similar to the mini mods video I've done. Sort of going over a few housekeeping things, but don't worry if you don't like mini projects, I got a major project coming for you soon. And with that, let's get started. And the first little thing on the list, here are my Hello Supertones. I've had these on the truck longer than I've been doing videos for YouTube. When I got them, give you a nice frontal view. When I got these, they were a nice bright race red color and the hardware was pristine, nice and black. And now you can see not so much. So I'm gonna remove the face plates of these, give them a nice fresh coat of paint and probably a clear coat to help protect against like rocks and stuff. And I'm gonna remove all these tiny screws and there's a small nut on the back. Looks like there's about 10 on each side. So I'm gonna replace all that with some nice stainless steel hardware I got at Ace Hardware. So we are gonna go from this to this, which looks pretty good if I do say so myself. Quick close up now on the inside right here on the little ring, it did say hella before in bright orange paint. I just went ahead and painted the whole, this black piece back here, I went ahead and just covered that in a fresh coat of paint and then put a clear coat of gloss satin on both the red and the black. So of course I did lose the Hella logos, but I think it looks much better now. Definitely cleans it up. One of those small things that you really don't notice over the few years and then you're like, oh, that kind of looks like an eyesore. Okay guys, quick update on the Hellas before we move on. This is several months later. As you can see, I now have all these lights and stuff installed. I recorded the original Hella footage I don't know, like three or four months ago, never got around to uploading it for like a mini projects video, but I initially swapped out all the hardware for the stainless steel, just a regular bolt and hex nut because that's exactly what the hell has came with. And those are rusting out, so obviously they were an eyesore. I should have realized it was gonna happen, but of course I lost several of the bolts over the next few months because they worked themselves loose and fell out. So I went ahead and swapped them in with the new bolts that I replaced, also stainless steel with a nylock on the back right there. I'll put the stats for these on the screen right now, but I believe they were an M4 bolt by 10 millimeters long, and of course an M4 nylock. So now those are not gonna get worked free and fall off. And there's a quick shot of the Hellas. They're a little dirty because it's been raining here. If you guys have Hellas, I guarantee you the stock hardware will rust out eventually. And while I had the grill off to work on the Hellas, I noticed this sort of crossbar piece right here. It ties in all these like thin supporting sheet metal pieces that come with the headlights and near the radiator and all that. This simply bolts off and your factory grill bolts to that. So while all that was off, I noticed, and I'll put a couple pictures on the screen in just a second, but I noticed the back of my brute force fab bumper right here if that's going to show up, you can see it is rubbed raw and that is bare metal. So I need to get some paint on that. But it looks like, I guess from like vibrations from driving around and when I get off road once in a while, I guess this part of the support was rubbing right there. Both sides, you can see not as bad on this side, but again, bare metal paint right there. So I took this piece off. There's just one bolt right there, two in the middle and another bolt on the driver's side comes right out and went ahead and took some of those like these deburring bits which if you guys are looking for something like this these are fantastic i'll put a link in the description below so that's like 10 bucks and you can see all kinds of different size heads for different applications they definitely make short work of small grinding and smoothing out projects like this so i just marked this with a marker and cut that down i'll put a picture on the screen right now so you can see what it was before and while this was off, went ahead and put a fresh coat of flat black enamel just to keep it looking nice and pretty. While it was off, here are some of the bolts that hold this thing down. Like I said, there are four of them. These are super rusty and nasty looking, so I got some stainless steel ones to replace them. I'm gonna replace the four bolts on this piece. And while I was looking around, I found two more bolts on either side. You can see here's one I've already replaced with stainless steel, so you can see how nice that looks despite the nasty looking bolt that's attached on the back side but here's another one you can see sort of an eyesore so i'm going to go ahead and replace those as well they're all the same size i'll put that size up on the screen now you aren't going to see these four when they're installed but the ones on the side i don't know it's just one of those small details i like that makes a truck just look that much better and i just hate rusted bolts and 
while I'm back here, I noticed this Phillips head one right here. That's sort of gonna be a pain to get to, so I'm gonna leave it for now, but I'll probably be swapping that one out in the future as well. I can feel the head of it back here, so sort of gonna be difficult. I obviously have to remove the bracket I have holding my KC Highlight Flex on there since that's in the way, and maybe get like a right angle Phillips bit on that to remove that one. Quick shot of that lower piece all bolted in with the new stainless steel hardware. You can see plenty of clearance now here. I just need to get my black touch-up paint pen to put some paint on that to protect it so it doesn't rust. But there is the bottom piece. And every time I have the front grill off, I'm reminded I need to do something when I put it on. It obviously attaches here on the headlights like the factory one does and right in the middle with the two screws. But on the bottom, there's nowhere to attach it, so I need to, I don't know, even if it's just zip ties, because it's always a little loose. I don't hear it vibrating, but it drives me crazy. So if you guys have done anything like that on the bottom, got any good ideas I can steal, I mean, that you can share with me, I'd love to hear about that. And one last shot with the grill bolted back in, and it turns out you can see all these bolts I just replaced with the stainless steel ones. There's one there. You can see the front one here, obviously not the back, and then on the other side, so I'm even more glad I replaced those now since... Most other people probably wouldn't see them, but I can see them. If I know there's rusted bolts showing, I won't be able to sleep at night. Next on the list, I did take some of that 3M. I think it's called Black Matrix. I did my gas tank lid. This was just bare black paint since I actually got a new gas cap and had to remove the wrap and all that stuff, but I know it's not really showing up here. And I didn't do like a how-to video on how to do this specifically because even though it is rounded right here and there's like a little domed area right here for the grip or the handle, so surprisingly easy didn't even have to use a heat gun it went right on so you guys have a little bit of patience this should be easy but i also did walk around here in the direct sunlight so you can guys get a good shot of it now i didn't do this to be fair because my wrapping skills are very limited and round edges are sort of tricky but i took this to the same guy who did the entire truck at Diaz Plus with that 3M matrix. You can see right there in the sun. Love how this stuff looks. Sort of carbon fiber-ish, but sort of its own thing all by itself. Had him do the top parts of the mirrors. So this is all the part that was black plastic. I almost said paint. It's not paint, it's the black plastic. The bottom parts here are still the same. This is like the, sort of like the matte finish plastic. Tons of scratches on here, so it covered up those obviously, but I love the way it looks. Give you a few shots right here with the sunlight sort of bouncing off it. Now he said it might peel because I had a very limited amount left so I got to keep an eye on the edges right here since it is sort of pulled tight over all these sort of rounded corners which is harder than it sounds when you're trying to wrap this stuff which is why I had him do it in the first place. And while he did this, these are genuine TRD sports mirrors. I just wanted him to do this. He suggested like some tint right here for the turn signals, which I think looks fantastic. And really helps tie in the truck with like the darker themes and all that if you sort of take a step back. And he did the passenger side first. And when I was looking at that with the driver's side not tinted on that little turn signal, I knew I had to get both done. And quick update on these. These are not actually wired in yet, so it's not like it's blocking any light. I do need to get with some of my friends who have more electrical skills than me to see if we can make this work. I know a bunch of you guys keep asking for updates on this. I need to get to this. It's just not, you know, high priority mod with all the other stuff going on with the truck. So stay tuned for an update on actually getting these TRD Sport turn signals to work on a TRD off-road, but there's a quick update on the vinyl wrap. Let me know what you think. I love the way the stuff looks in the sunlight. Really sets it apart. And this is the same stuff I used on the inside of the truck also for that AC panel. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for supporting the channel by watching this video. Help the channel grow by sharing it with your friends on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and give the video a thumbs up. It really helps with the lovely YouTube algorithms. Stay safe out there. Enjoy your upcoming weekend and I'll see you in the next video. Uh -oh.